this is the real EOR challenge. Because now we're talking about added reserves, because no reserves are pretty hard to come by, okay? I just put here the four or five biggest ones of the list that you saw, the 13 layers. You see uh, um, the recovery factor is 22%. But look at the percentage of oil still in the ground. In Canada, 75% of what has been discovered is still in the ground. Venezuela, 80%. Russia, 83%. Saudi Arabia, 84%. The US, two-thirds of the oil discovered is still in the ground. And worldwide, it's 91%. And for the oil sands, it's 99.8%. So, you know, uh, if, if, so there's no way of thinking that we ran out of oil. The problem is how we're gonna get it out. Um, now, let's be modest and assume we can go from 22% to 70% recovery factor, right? Let's just do 1%. 1% increase in the recovery factor is equivalent to 100 billion barrels of added results. Because it's 1% of 10 trillion. That's, that's down there. That's equivalent to 10 years of exploration in efforts of new reserves because currently our success rate is 10 million barrels, 10 billion barrels a year. So 10 billion barrels a year for 10 years is 100 billion. So just by increasing 1%, it's equivalent to exploration efforts for the next 10 years. We have trillions of barrels of oil already discovered, more than sufficient to allow a transition away from an overwhelming, let's call it, hydrocarbon economy.